Okay. Hey everyone. Um, today we're going to tackle about the upstream object of the upstream. Um, this is a very important object in C++ because it stores the data from a simulation. So uh, it is one way of storing data to a file in C++. So of course we begin with our standard um, IO stream. Then in order to do math, we use C math. And then what else? Um, the header file that contains the off stream is the app stream, which is basically just file and stream. Okay, and I think those are all the things that we need. Then, um, as an example, we will use uh, projectile motion. Um, start with the function for x position. So x position here. Um, it is dependent on x uh, float x not the velocity and what else acceleration in x and lastly time so it should return the kinematic equation x not plus b not x times time plus the acceleration time square okay so you, this should be all x not b x t a x t squared okay next would be the y position um it's just the same with the x position so i think you can just copy and paste it here and replace the x with y oh sorry and of course um the acceleration for a projectile motion motion is constant it's just we should have a 0 0.5 this one too 0 0.5 times 9.8 just negative and that would be for the functions let's go with our main for the main um of course for the first part um you have to create the object this blue thing okay the object um is an upstream file and that's too much invention i see the upstream so basically upstream is a type of a member of upstream class with this O, which means out. So it um, creates a file or goes outside. So this one, um, we name the object as data since we collect data basically from the um, simulation. Then data is a function, so it has to have some arguments. So the first argument is for the file name. We can use uh, data.csv. And the next one would be the mode of input. So the mode of input can be append, or every time the program is run, it will find this data.csv and add data to uh, add whatever is um, whatever the program will add and then there's another thing out out will create another data.csv and you have to be careful with this out because it overrides what any file that has this name data.csv okay so the next thing that you have to do is to check whether the object is there so in order to do that, you have to write an if statement, data is open. That will check whether the object data is open. So what are you going to do if data is open? 
so of course you have to write something to the data so the way it operates is just like c out so you can write data double less than then we will write the header or this will be the first line and the first line of the that csv file so in order um this thing this string which is just comma it will tell the dot csv that it has to go to the next cell to the right okay so we are in the next cell and then we write y and basically that's uh, end of the line after that okay So, you can check first if it does what it has to do. So, we compile it using um, Visual Studio. Of course, we need to uh, change directory first and check whether... Uh, the file is there and then we compile using cl okay and okay so there's some things that were still undeclared okay let's double check um, undeclared x not on line 12 okay, line 12 let's check okay sorry I forgot to replace this one. Okay. Um, okay. So the executable should be there. Just refresh and then run the program. It will create a dot data dot csv and it should have x and y. Okay, x and y. Okay. So it's running properly and delete this now okay let's continue okay so while data is open we have to write the values for oh, well, it should be y position write the values for these things so let me check if there are still other errors so x position x not b not a x t Okay, why position, why not, be not why time. Hmm, okay, it's fine. So, since this is an iterative process with increasing time, we can use for loop here. We can use for loop there. So, first we initialize our variables. So, float, uh, sorry, float x not why not what else why not x not b not x b not y and i think oh the acceleration in x okay and of course um we need to find the end point of the projectile it's just the derivative of this one Created to zero and then that would be the halfway we multiply it to two that would be in max time so float uh, that's just basic um kinematics so two times uh, derivative of this one is 9.8 time and that would be v not y okay v not y over 9.8 this one mm, okay. is that correct okay i think so for um in i uh, know we need to use float since it has to be very fine float i initialize then i should be less than or equal to max time 
I hope it does not interfere with internal variables. Mm, maybe we can use max p time just to be safe. And then the increment of i. Mm, we can use 0 0.02. And then the values for x position. So this should be x naught or the arguments x naught b not x what else a it's not writing it a x and then time which is d i okay and then of course the separator and then the y position y position has fewer arguments it's just y not b not y no acceleration and one and i think we can flush the buffer here okay and of course the else of the if so else this means um, if data is not open, that basically means that data doesn't exist or some error occurs. So we need to see out, uh, do some C error here. Then no such file. And then we return zero. Okay. So basically it's done. We will now check if it's running properly. Um missing before STD upstream. Okay, so I missed this one here. Let's continue. Um okay, we have some warnings. Oh okay, I forgot to interact with the user. Okay, we need to, of course, um, interact with the user. So, std see out what is the initial position in x, and of course, we will store the variable x naught. Okay. Basically, do the same for the rest of variables. Y not b not x b not y a x. So why not? And it should ask for initial position in y and velocity in x. So that will be b not x. Copy this one and then y. B not y. Okay. Um, what is the initial position? Oh no, it should be acceleration. Acceleration in x. Oh, no, no initial. Just acceleration. And this should be ax. So here the variables will be initialized. So let's compile again. Okay. So no warnings. Can close this one and okay. This would be zero. What is the initial position in y? Zero velocity in x. Let's start with 20 and then what is the 30. For starters, we can exclude um, acceleration in x. And it should create this. Okay. Now let's check. Okay. Um, scatter plot. And we have it. And we have our project file. Okay. So that would be upstream, uh, the upstream object. 
and of course you can write a python program use and use import pandas to read this one and let python graph or animate whatever the data is so that would be all for this um, video and see you in the next one